this. I cannot believe we are in the middle of September already. It's September. It's back to school month. And so that means if you've been taking it easy over the summer or since lockdown, now is the time you might be thinking about getting back running and get, getting back into your habit of training. I'm Helen, I'm the Cheesecake Runner, and I help runners, especially new runners, get trained, ready and prepared to run their first marathon or half marathon race. And each day over the next few days, I'm going to be going live with tips to help you get back running this September. And today's tip, I'm going to give you three tips to ensure that you are eating right to give you bags of energy without putting on weight. So when I started running and stepping up the distance to train for my first half, I really, really struggled. So I don't know if that, that's something that you're, you're experiencing. I'd start a run full of energy uh, on a sort of crazy, I've got this, woohoo, high. But I come home really demoralized and flagging because once again, I'd pulled up short in my run. This went on just not just one run. It was run after run and week after week after week. And my confidence, it started to nosedive. Is that you? Have you ever struggled? Have you ever run out of energy badly on a run? And it's made you question why the heck you're bothering with this whole running malarkey. It's one of the biggest struggles that I see happening with new runners who are stepping up their, their running to maybe train for, for a marathon or a half. Um, when you're starting to step up that distance beyond the sort of comfort zone of a 10K race. So in this short video, I'm going to be giving you three tips to ensure that you are eating right for energy without putting on weight so you can run well in your Sunday long, long, long runs. And if eating right for your running is something that you know you struggle with, make sure that you've saved your spot for my Eat Right Run Right workshop, which I'm holding next Wednesday. This workshop is free and I'm going to be explaining how eating a balanced whole field diet around your running could help knock minutes off your next run or race day PB. Just click the link below this video and you're in. Okay, so let's get back to struggling, running out of energy badly on runs. So if that's happened to you, you're not alone. It's one of the biggest struggles that I see new runners have who are trying to step up their, their running to train for a marathon or even a half. So here are my three tips to ensure that you are eating right to give you bags of energy for your running. My first tip for you is that you need to align your diet with your training. So what the heck does that mean? So if you've got a training plan, let's have a look at your training plan. What you want to be doing on the days that you're training, you want to be eating a little bit more food to give you energy to run, but, but not huge amounts. It's not necessary to carb load to run a park run or an easy 10K. And if you do that, and I have seen plenty of people loading up on, their, on the carbs ahead of park run, taking gels or sports drinks, then if you do that, you're, then you're going to be struggling and quite likely putting on a ton of weight. You just need to make sure that you, you're eating right as your running ramps up. So you need to make sure on the amount of food that you're eating is kind of aligned with your training. And how I do that is by eating a little bit more food, maybe an extra snack on the days when I'm training and then on those days when I'm not, or maybe I'm just out for an easy, easy jog or run, I don't, I just need a normal, balanced, healthy diet. So it's really just on those days when you're training hard that you need to make sure that you're eating a little bit more food. That'll give you the energy that you need for your running. So how do you do that? And that brings me on to, to my next tip. Tip two, 
plan to eat a healthy snack after your hard workouts. So because we need to be eating a little bit more food when we're, when we're starting to train hard, instead of eating larger and larger meals as my training ramps up, I plan to eat just small healthy snacks um, around my running. And the best way of doing that, the best way of remembering to, to eat a small snack is to, to uh, plan one um, to be eating just after you're back from, from your run. That way, you'll be increasing the food that you're eating around your running and you can keep the rest of your eating out of, out of, uh, under control. But watch out. If you're piling your plate because you think, oh my goodness, I need to eat for two because I've started training for a marathon or a half. If you do that and you then start eating lots of highly calorific snacks, after your run, you're going to be eating way too much. So my biggest piece of advice for you is to keep your main meals at a normal, regular size. Don't let your eyes get the better of you. And just add in a healthy snack to eat after your runs. Which really brings me to tip number three, which is all about planning your meals in advance. Your meals and your snacks in advance. Not planning what you're eating ahead of time means you'll make less than great choices when you're tired, you're hungry, and you're gasping for food after you're back from your runs. And when you're back from your run, unless you've planned your post-run snack, I know what's going to happen. You're going to be grabbing biscuits or a big bar of chocolate, which really won't be the best type of food to give your body the nutrients that it needs to help you recover well from your run. So today I have given you three tips to help sure ensure that you're eating right for energy, but without putting on weight. It's kind of a, a fine balance that you need to strike. So tip one, you need to align your diet with your training. So that means on the days when you're training hard, you're eating a little bit more food. Tip two, plan to eat a healthy snack after workouts. And the biggest word there is healthy. Bars of chocolate, bags of crisps, or loads of biscuits. They're not going to give you your body the best nutrition it needs to help you recover from your run. You need to plan ahead to eat that healthy snack. Which brings me to tip number three, make sure that you plan your meals and your snacks in advance. Now, I know that working out what to eat and when is such a massive, massive struggle for everybody and especially runners who are so super duper busy. And I want to help. So I am inviting you to my Eat Right to Run Right workshop. I'm holding this workshop next Wednesday. And at this workshop, you are going to discover how eating a balanced whole food diet around your running could help you knock minutes off your next run or your next race PB. Now, in our workshop, you're going to discover what to eat for energy to run so you're not struggling. You're going to learn how to eat right for recovery between those super hard runs. And you're going to uncover why following a structured training plan and eating a balanced whole field diet is the most effective way that you could knock minutes off your race day PB. Now, I'm going to be going live at 7.30 next Wednesday. And if you're serious about ending your running struggles, save your spot by clicking the link below to come and join us in this workshop. The spots are limited, so you need to get in fast. Hope to see you there. Take care. Bye.